Hello everybody, my name is Mohit Deshpande, and uh, in this video I want to introduce you guys to the data set that we'll be using for uh, face recognition. And so in the provided code, I've actually bundled uh, this data set in it as well. It's actually a pretty popular uh, face recognition data set. Uh, it's called the Yale Face uh, data set. And so here are what some of the pictures uh, look like over here. And so when you open it up, you'll you might notice that on on Linux it, it'll render, uh, but if you are opening up, if you're looking at the data set in on a different operating system, uh, sometimes it doesn't quite render the the uh, images of the faces because the file there's no um, file extension really. It's just sub the they all follow a the same naming convention for the the file name. So a subject and then a you know the, the number and then dot and then some you know property about like some sort of description about the the person in the image and so there's no like there's it doesn't it ends right there there's no like dot uh, png or something like that so it just it just ends right there so sometimes uh, I've, I've had this issue on uh, like Mac OS, sometimes it, these these images don't really render, so you have to like open them up in Preview. Um, in Windows, you might have to like actually uh, open them up in the uh, the Photo Viewer or something to look at them. But uh, on on Linux, luckily for us, they it, it recognizes them as being images. Okay, so um, like I said in this video, I just want to get you guys uh, acquainted to this this data set that we'll be using. Um, and I'll also show you how we can add ourselves to this data set actually if you scroll if I scroll all the way down see uh, that's I've added myself to this data set and uh, so as subject 16 afterwards so uh, I'm gonna explain how we can do that uh, as well so first of all uh, this EL data set has um, but let's pretend that I'm not in this data set the the official um, EL face face uh, data set has uh, 15 subjects and uh, it's about 11 images or it's exactly I should say exactly 11 images per subject so that comes out to something like 165 uh, different images and so each subject has 15 subjects and each uh, subject has 11 images and I should mention that these are actually uh, uh, GIF images and so you uh, you know when you upload when you're using your uh, if you're trying to use your images then you don't have to necessarily they don't have to be in a particular file format by the way you can just use them as whatever but the I guess when they were making this data set they use that a particular format so the what kind of image file it is doesn't really matter if you're going to be putting your own stuff in there anyway so let me just uh, let me just kind of talk a little bit uh, about the way that this data set is is set up so you know like I said there's 15 subjects and then each subject has 11 images and these 11 images are all uh, different and uh, that's you know th that's something that you should be if you're going to put your own stuff in there they should be different images you, you don't just want to use the same uh, image 11 times that's not really that's not that robust uh, but so you know let's so like here's subject one, senders, you know, the the little after the dot it tells you what kind of like what conditions are, are in the image. So like center light is, you know, center light. There's one with glasses. There's happy, like a smiling uh, expression. There's left light, so the the light is kind of one side of the face is a bit darker than the other. There's a one with no glasses to kind of contrast glasses. There's a normal one, which uh, is just, you know, added in there. There's right light, where the light, the right side of the face is lighter than the uh, left side. There's sad, where you're frowning. There's sleepy, where your eyes are closed. There's surprised. And then I think wink is the last one. Yeah, wink is the last one. So, you can see that for each subject, they did the same, they asked them to do the same thing. So like smile, left light, center light, uh, wink, uh, sad, you know, and, and all that stuff. So those 11 images, and they're all different. So like for, 
no glasses and normal, for example, they, they look really similar, but they're two distinct images. And so that's something that uh, if, when you're creating your own data set, that's also something that uh, that you should do. And so this is quite commonly, so uh, this is commonly known as, you know, the, the training set. And it's called the training set because this, this these images are what we're going to be feeding to our AI and telling our AI, you know, like, we telling our AI, hey, this is a picture of subject one. We'll say, here is another picture of subject one. And then we just kind of keep adding pictures of subject one. And then eventually we'll go to subject two. And we'll be like, look, these are pictures of subject two. And you give it, you know, the 11 images. And, uh, you know, it can help, it can uh, classify correctly and recognize whose face uh, this is. And, uh, one thing I should uh, sh I should mention is that the way the way that I described it is that we are just going to be ignoring what the what's after the dot. We just care about the eleven images classifying the subject. Um, they're supposed to be dis they're supposed like I said they're supposed to be different images because you know the the more different the you know the more variety uh, is in your image for or is in your training set for a particular uh, for a particular person. Uh, the better that it's probably going to recognize your face. Because if you take one picture and copy it 11 times and try to teach the classifier that, it's just going to pick up the same features 11 times. So that's not really that uh, useful, which is why, you know, there's all these different uh, the, all these different conditions like center light. Uh, there's one with glasses or without glasses. If you don't actually wear glasses, then you can just uh, borrow your friends or do something else with that. Um, they don't have, when you're doing your data set, they don't have to be, they don't have to match up with this. You can just take like 11 images from different angles and different facial expressions. Uh, and, and one thing I should mention is that you might be tempted uh, looking at this to see if you can do, uh, like sentiment analysis. Um, that's a whole other field in computer vision. What I mean by that is given a picture of a face, can you tell if it's like smiling or winking or stuff like that? You might be tempted to think that you can do that given this image set and you might be able to but it, I don't think it'll work that well. Um, in fact there are actually a lot of uh, APIs that are starting to come about that actually already do sentiment analysis um, so you can usually just piggyback off of uh, off of one of those but yeah so if you were trying to do sentiment analysis what you would do your training set would then be different. Um, you would need like we so for just for one subject you need multiple you know multiple pictures of them like winking or multiple pictures of them being happy or multiple pictures of them sad and you know so on and so on so it's really all uh dependent on the the training set and so uh i think that's i think that's pretty much covers all that i wanted to cover about the the Yale face data set and so in the next uh a few videos or in the, actually in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can put yourself in this data set um, and, you know, some of the stuff that has to go with that. But uh, I guess I'm going to stop this video right here for the this, this kind of introduction to, to the data set here. So, okay, so I'm just going to do a quick recap. So for our face recognition data set, we'll be using the uh, Yale face data set. And there, you know, there are plenty of other data sets out there. Like there's, um, I think AT&T has a face data set, uh, but it's way bigger than, than this. So I just wanted to, I chose this data set particularly because it's not like massive data set. It's like a hundred, I want to say like 165 images. So you can like skim through them fairly quickly. But some of the other data sets have like hundreds and hundreds of images. So it just gets kind of tedious. Plus you know, when, when I actually get to the training phase, that might take a bit longer for more images, of course. But uh, anyway. So this is the Yale face data set and it's split up so that there are 15 subjects and each uh, subject is uniquely identified by a number and uh, each subject takes 11 uh, images and these images are you know unique images in the sense that they they're not just the same image copied 11 times so like you know here's all these different kinds of images of different facial expressions and different lighting conditions so that we can really try to make our AI uh, more robust to these uh, changes. So it's, uh, 15 subjects, 11 images per subject, and we're going to be using this data set uh, for training our AI.
And uh, so I guess I'm going to stop right here with, with the Yale based data set. And then in the next video, um, if I scroll all the way to the bottom here, you can see I managed to put myself into this uh, data set. And so if you're going to, you know, if you want to add face recognition, if you want to add your own face recognition here, um, then you have to add your own face in here. And there's some uh, nuances that you have to kind of look at uh, when, when discussing that. So uh, this is where I'm going to stop right here. And then in the next video, I'm going to show you how we can add, you can add uh, yourself to this face data set.